What's up guys, what's going on? It's a new video and today we are back in Ark Survival Evolved and today I wanted to show off the beauty of a certain craftable object that was added in the uh, update a couple days ago and that is the brand new crossbow to craft it. We're going to need 10 wood, 35 fiber, and 7 metal ingots and access to a smithy, which we do have. Also, sorry that I kind of sound like crap. I just woke up and I wanted to make a video, so you're going to have to... Might have a little bit of that morning grogginess. Hopefully it's not awful, though. That's, you know, all, all I can say, really. So, uh, I believe I said we need wood, fiber, and then a little bit of metal. I have the metal up above. Uh, the fiber, there we go. Just a little bit of lag there. The metal is up above here, so we just gotta climb through the clusterfuck that is known as our house. Get off of that, and we should be able to grab a couple from here. I guess we'll, we'll just split up that stack and make sure that we keep it down below. So that we don't have to keep climbing up to get our metal. No, I, said I wanted to close it. There we go. And we should just be able to throw it down here. And metal, fiber, and wood, weapons, ranged. And we're going to have ourselves a beautiful cross. We could actually craft five of them if we really wanted to, but no. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that. So as you can see from the description, it's significantly more powerful than, than the bow, but cannot fire rapidly. It can fire underwater. And as you can tell, oh, we just leveled up from that too. whoop de doo This is actually really nice. So hold up. Uh, we're going to make that replace the bow actually. So, and then <clears throat> end grand points. We finally at 55 and there is some stuff I wanted to learn at level 55. So excuse me. Actually, no, we got to put some points into something. Work on oxygen, make that an even 300. And now we have pretty much almost everything available to us except a select few level 65 stuff and level 60 stuff. But we'll get there soon enough. Anyways, we have ourselves some incline. You got, yeah, pretty much just more cables, which is actually really good. Uh, the fridge, we're going to want to invest in that. The air conditioner as well. Uh, we're going to have to just start gathering stuff to get those. Uh, the behemoth gate. We're going to want to invest in one of those along with the gateway. I don't know. We need both of those. And potentially, after we get those two, we're going to want to build an actual pen up here. Because that means, once we have these two crafted, we can store whatever dinosaurs we want. So no more not getting a mammoth or not getting a brontosaurus because they're too big. Once we get this, we can tame whatever we want and we're going to be good to go. And that's honestly the biggest thing. Also, uh, let me go ahead and just get the electrical cable stuff too. We are starting to run kind of low on engram points, which kind of sucks, but... I mean, there's not really much else I do want to grab. Uh, ooh, pump action shotgun. Hello. Is this the new shotgun? I think this is. Powerful up close, plus reliable with range can fire. Yeah, this is the fabricated shotgun. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh. we're going to be trying to gather some stuff to craft that because that sounds like something fancy and that sounds like something I want. So let me just learn the shotgun here real quick. And uh, we're almost out of engram points. Good thing I've been just like stashing it and just not doing anything with that so i'm gonna just grab the rest of this and we'll put this away into one of these and as you can see i do have a couple things here i'll talk about that in a sec we'll just put these away we have ourselves the crossbow i'm gonna maybe do a little bit of comparison between that and the bow see how that does so uh, besides that though you can see i have three wood foundations two wooden walls and a wood ceiling and little notes because this was uh down by my base over in that uh what should we call hold up let's actually just get the hell out of dodge first and close that. Uh, down in my base, we can actually open the window here to see. It was over down there in that like, huge storage chest. It was just chilling over there. I check it every once in a while because sometimes, I don't know, people like to leave me stuff. Which is actually really nice of them. And uh, this guy over here left a little note. Star, I took the trouble of making new pieces for your home to replace what the Raiders destroyed in joy from Sir Mitch 25. So I just want to say thank you to Sir Mitch. He said to give us uh, a couple wood foundations and stuff uh, to kind of repair. The shit that went wrong during the raid, so that's actually very thankful for that. And uh, we might at least have a functioning house again, so that's good. Uh, wait, we can't? It's obstructed? What? Why the fuck is my wood floor obstructed? Wait. What? What? Are you kidding me? Wait, why is that happening? I actually can't fix my house? What? Why... Why is that a thing? Can I at least repair this? Okay, I can repair that, I guess, because the walls fell down? Wait, what? I am so confused right now, to say the least. Why the hell is that happening? Can I not? What's the reason I can't put those down? Huh. 
All right, I'm gonna have to ask you guys in the comment section if you know anything about this because this is not a good situation because that means our house is just gonna keep on being wide open. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that. What the fuck is that? What is that? Is that a dead pteranodon? Just, do you see that in the distance? What the fuck? What is that sh I don't even know. All right, you know what? No, let's just throw this last piece down. It's eight. Let's throw it up there. We're missing a couple walls, but whatever. We'll work on that later and just, I mean, I guess we got an extra couple foundations, so I'm just going to put those away. God damn it. I don't want to put them away. I'll put them away somewhere else because I want to go out and adventure. So, boom. Welcome, boys and girls, to the crossbow. As you can see here, that's the animation of putting it away. This is the animation of taking it out. We can aim down the sights on this bad boy. We can reload it. No, we cannot. We do not have arrows. We should probably... <sighs> Alright, so we gotta head back up anyway to craft up some arrows. Because this thing does use the same ammunition as the bow and arrow, which is just arrows. I thought maybe it'd use, like, crossbow bolts. Because technically, crossbows should not be using the same ammunition as a bow and arrow. Because that is the way things work. So, I don't know. But, hey, I'm not complaining. I'm just, you know... Just point out those little inaccuracies, but it, it's probably just it does make sense gameplay wise to use the same ammunition Anyways, all we gotta do is grab some thatch grab some fever grab some wood. I think uh, no we need flint Which we have nine of Ugh. I Mean we could go we could always go grab some more, but for now just craft up a couple arrows here There we go. Yeah, we're gonna need more flint more fiber all that stuff So I guess we could carry some of that with us yeah, we'll split the fiber in half, because I don't want to have all of our fiber out and about. And then we will just go and hit a couple rocks. We can put the wood away. We don't need that. And all right, we're good to go. We can actually load the damn thing, and we can fire it, and we can test it out and see just how good it is. Because I actually want to see, compared to the bow, how much... Because it does say that it is stronger. So we're going to be testing this out, probably shooting up some dillos. And also, I do want to go underwater, maybe, and shoot some stuff, because that is the huge thing about the crossbow that makes it a lot better is the fact that it can shoot underwater, unlike the bow and arrow. So this is going to be perfect for taming the plesiosaur, which is something we always wanted to do, but it's a struggle to do, because plesiosaur taming... or plesiosaurs are very hard to knock out, and they stay at the bottom of the ocean, so... it's a bit of a struggle. Anyways, uh, I do want to look for some dillos here to take out, and also probably hit up a couple rocks, just so we could craft up a few more bolts. Why are all the rocks missing? Hello? Has someone recently mined all of the river? Uh... I think so. The river is absolutely clear of rocks right now. That makes no sense. Also, I think Daniela over there, our neighbor, she seems to have been pretty busy taming shit. She has a Spinosaurus and T-Rex, so that's slightly frightening, but whatever. Huh. Yeah, I'm seriously not seeing anything. Where are these rocks? I need rocks to mine. Okay, there we go. Now they're starting to spawn. We're just like, God damn. This is crazy. No rocks anywhere. All right, here we go. We should be able to break this bad boy open. Let's get a good chunk of flint here. And I honestly probably just want to break up a couple rocks and just get the flint from that. Don't want to go ham and start mining this river for the next five minutes. Just, I don't know. Just a decent chunk. So we have a decent chunk of arrows. Maybe like 20 flints I'll be happy with. So like one, yeah, one more rock. I think that's fair. See what we get from this. Two flints, four, and yeah, that should be enough there. So we'll just break this rock, and that should be plenty. We're tired, so might as well spend this time crafting all 22 of the arrows we can craft. And along with that, let's go ahead and go hunting for some dillos and seeing what damage we can do there. And also, of course, I do want to go underwater and see how many crossbow bolts it does take to kill a shark since that is the, kind of the main pull of the crossbow it's underwater and apparently stronger too just it's the drawback is that it does fire slower so we could test that out when we're killing a dillo uh, but I can't seem to find any you, we could kill a dodo I guess we could do that <laughs> do we want to do that all right you know what? we'll try hold up we'll load the stone arrows into the bow as well all right we'll use the bow first and just Okay, we'll see if the crossbow bolt... Can you one-hit a dodo? That's the question. Dodo, stop moving. I'm just doing a couple experiments here that involve you not moving. So relax for a second. And... 
yeah, this dodo gives zero fucks, as you can probably see there. Straight through the noggin. There we go. Two arrows to kill a dodo, and we can at least pick up our arrows, so that's good. But, uh, yeah, two, two crossbow bolts to kill a dodo. I'm guessing it's going to be the same arrow-wise. I can't imagine a dodo's going to be able to survive three arrows in any way, shape, or form. So if we find another dodo, we can test that out. I'm still, I'm shocked we have not found a single dillo. Usually dillos just, like, rain hell upon me and just become huge nuisances. Now when we actually want a dillo for the first time in our lives, minus Ferb, of course, we can't find one. Oh, let's go underwater. See if maybe we can lure some sharks to us. Oh, there's a shark. And yeah, that's the, the big thing about this, too, is if we bring the trank arrows... It's going to be a lot easier to knock stuff out, and it also means we can go hunting for that Plasiosaur, which is honestly one of the biggest things I want to do. So that's one arrow. See how many it takes to kill a shark. I actually don't know if the first one was a hit, but whatever. This is about to be like four, I think. We keep swimming away. Five. Six. This thing doesn't give a shit. Seven. Seven. About seven crossbow bolts to knock out a Megalodon, and... His jaw seems to have collapsed upon itself. What the fuck? Do you see that shit? Yeah, we got some more stone arrows out of that, though. So that's actually a pretty good drawback. And not much else I'd really want to take. We could take the Megalodon teeth, but eh. Those are alright. I mean, while we are doing this underwater hunting, might as well go check on Bruce. See how he's doing over there. But, uh, yeah, hopefully after we attack the Broodmother and take that out. Because that's going to be happening soon. I actually think within the next couple days, you guys should be seeing the, uh, you know... The Broodmother segment of the series where we will prepare, we'll head to the Broodmother and we'll hopefully take that thing out, get the rewards from it. It's going to be hella hype. Just be excited for that. That will be coming pretty soon. And then, of course, the series isn't going to end at the Broodmother. We're going to keep going. And probably one of the things that I do want to do, I think the rest of the tribe does want to do, is tame up a Plesiosaur. Just because those are, I don't know, it's not like an everyday, it's a higher level mount to tame. And uh, I'm not sure it's even the best mount, but still, it's cool as fuck, and I definitely want to check out a Plesiosaur, because I've yet to even see one. I remember back around the update when it actually came out, we were trying to tame it, or we were trying to knock it out, and then we realized, that's not going to happen, we're not going to knock this thing out, because it's that freaking insane. But uh, there's Dick Rock, and hopefully if all's well, Bruce should be by Dick Rock, and uh, I didn't bring the saddle, so we can't really ride him around, but at the very least we can see that he is not dead and hopefully he's in the same area. If not, Saving Private Bruce Operation Part 2 might have to commence pretty soon. And I hope it doesn't, because Operation Saving Private Bruce, that was an annoying, annoying operation. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 we're running out of stamina! Oh no, 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 don't drown, don't drown. Okay, okay. We choked by running into the water here. This is a mistake. We should have probably got our stamina back before we did anything stupid like this. Hmm. Wait, can we just, like, chill at the bottom of the ocean and let the stamina recharge? Does that happen? If we, like, relax down here, will our stamina go back? Because I have the oxygen for this. No, we're, like, sinking in quicksand right now. Okay, we gotta keep going then. Ugh. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Just walk across. Get to safety. Don't drown. It's pretty easy. And again, we fucked up a lot of easy things in our lifetime, so... Okay. Let's get that stamina back. And just relax. Look at that badass right there. Mm, look at his ass. Beautiful. And those Nedri glasses. People are saying they're called Nedri glasses. No, if you can look at the pronunciation here, it's called Nerdry. It is weird. I know that I know it's referencing Nedri from Jurassic Park, but for some reason it says Nerdry, which I don't understand at all, but I'm just trying to clear that up. Like I know it's pronounced Nerdry, but that is that specific the glasses in this game, that is not how you sp spell Nedry. There's an extra R in there, so I was always kind of confused with that. Um, yeah, Bruce is not home again. God damn it. Well, Operation Saving Bruce 3.0, that's going to have to be a thing soon. Is that Bruce over there? That shark doesn't really seem to be moving too much. Actually, no. No, it's definitely moving. Um... Oh well, shit, we're gonna have to find Bruce again. Motherfucker. How do we keep doing this shit? It's actually an accomplishment at this point. Jesus Christ. I don't think he's dead, so... Do we want to kill this thing? Yeah, we want to kill it. Put these crossbow bolts to good use. 
Yes, as you can see, the reload time on this, you know, in between shots, it is definitely a bit higher than the bow and arrow. But uh, still, you're going to be able to do a decent chunk of damage with this. And the fact that you can't fire it underwater, huge plus right there. And this thing's like stuck right now, so we don't have to worry about that. Just take the thing out. Never mind. Might need a couple extra arrows. He doesn't seem to want any of us anymore. Oh god, this thing's taking a lot more arrows. Jesus, what the hell? Does this thing is this thing on steroids? How high level is this compared to the one we killed? I don't even want to know. Oh god, look at that one there. Alright, let's get these arrows. Ooh, we got a trank arrow. That's a nice little bonus. And a metal hatchet and a bow. Hell yeah, this guy had some nice stuff. Ow, we're getting attacked. Hell no. Hell no, don't hurt me. Please. Yeah, but uh, we're gonna have to go on another Operation Saving Bruce. I I don't know, Bruce seems to just get lost a lot. We're just gonna have to leave him somewhere where he won't get killed by stupid shit. Uh, well, I mean, that was a nice two-episode span where we knew Bruce was safe. Not anymore, though. Not anymore. Okay, so here's the dodo. Can we take this thing out in two trank shots? Or in two bow shots? That's the question. And we're also gonna piss off a lot of dodos in this process. So we better be ready for a killing spree. This thing's actually mate boosted, so this might not be fair. No, either way, it took two bows, so I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I, I think damage-wise, they're pretty similar. At least when it comes to dodos, to be fair. I don't really know what... I mean, the Parasaur, if I test it on them, they're gonna run away. That's why I was looking for a Dillo, because they have, I mean, a decent chunk of health. Like, Triceratopses, they have way too much health. That's gonna take a while. And we don't really have the resources for that, but... Uh, yeah, that's the crossbow. I'm liking it actually a lot. Uh, it does cost metal, though, which is going to make it a lot, I don't know, a lot less expendable, as in, like, you're going to want to keep it, albeit four metal isn't a huge deal. That's honestly just hitting a couple rocks with a metal pick, and you're good. So, uh, a little bit more expensive, but nothing too crazy, as long as you have access to a smithy and a pick, you'll be able to craft it up. So, uh, yeah, that's really my consensus on the crossbow. Like I said, I'm liking it a lot. Uh, hopefully, if you guys are in the game, I would... I'd strongly recommend using it over the bow, because, I mean, it is a higher level thing, and it is just overall better. And, uh, the whole thing that you can bring it underwater to use Trank Arrows, honestly, biggest pull out of it. I've said that five times already. Well, guess what? I gotta say it a sixth time to just emphasize it even more. That is awesome. Uh, what the fuck is this shit? It's a random-ass hut here. I don't know, but uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for me, though. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you did, be sure you like and subscribe. Signing out. Love you guys. See ya.